Welcome everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about IoT MQTT with Java and Spring Boot. So let's move to the end of this video. What we will be doing as a part of this video. So we are going to learn what is AWS IoT first and what is MQTT, how the communication happens and what are the use cases why we use AWS IoT. On the next step, we'll be going to our AWS account and we will be learning how to create a device or a thing and attach certificate and policies to this thing. On the next step, we will be learning how to build a Spring Boot project and connect it with our IoT. After that, the next thing that we will be going to do is to test by sending a payload to IoT. So without much delay, let's get started. So first of all, what is IoT? or internet of things so this example i have taken is the very simple example but uh, there are a lot of big things in the real world that are connected using the iot this example is just for learning purpose let's suppose that this bulb is not in your house this is in your friend's house okay so and this is your mobile and you are sitting in your home and when you press the on button the bulb goes on in your friend's house and when you press the off button, the bulb goes off. So how this is happening, how you are able to control this bulb by sitting in your home and from your mobile application. This is not connected through any Wi-Fi or this is not connected through any Bluetooth. So how you are able to control this bulb by sitting in your home. Let's go and see that. So uh, in the today's world, this this bulb is actually fitted with so many sensors and softwares and controllers okay which is configured in such a way to send the data to a server and this server let's suppose that this is a aws server and we call this as iot server so this current state of this bulb is being sent every second or the frequency that you have set in your these devices it is sending the status to this iot server so the currently the bulb state is off and you are sitting in your home what you are doing you are just just you are changing the state of this bulb so you are the subscriber to this device so when you press on button the current state of the bulb will change to on and the bulb will start glowing okay and the state of this bulb will change to on on aws iot server and the same state will be pushed back to the bulb and it will turn on so it is connected over an internet so if we look at the definition now that we generate out of it is something like this so it's a network of physical objects or things in this case the bulb that are embedded with sensors softwares and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and interchanging data with other devices and systems over internet as simple as that right this was the simplest example but if we see at the real life use cases it is used in the autonomous or connected vehicles uh, that is very largely in demand nowadays for example when you want to turn on the engine or turn on the ac or lock or unlock your uh, vehicle use this iot for achieving that in the world of gaming the virtual reality it is very widely getting used you might be using a smartwatches and and fitness trackers all these things are connected with iot and it is sending data the machine to machine communications the supply chain of future the drone technologies nowadays that is also in demand nowadays the smart cities transportation parking lots all these services are being tracked via iot and in the healthcare also it is very significant in monitoring the, the glucose level of a patient taking the decision based on those monitoring data right so this is the use case now where does the mqtt comes into picture with this iot so basically mqtt is a protocol that is messaging queue telemetry transport and it's a protocol that is designed mostly for the internet of things right there are other protocols to communicate with iot but when we talk about iot's the first thing that should come to the picture because it is extremely lightweight and efficient it has low latency almost everything happens in the real time it can scale to connect millions of devices that is one of the best features there is a bi-directional communication your reliability on the message delivery is something 
that comes with the QoS service that is quality of service and there is no any lag or no any loss of packets while transferring the message then high security will be offered to you if you are using MQTT there are uh, authentication and authorization that is done using MQTT over TLS or MQTT over WebSocket or if you want your custom authorization authentication that also can be achieved using IoT right so these are all the basic features that you will be getting when you are using MQTT now the next thing that we are going to do is to create a thing on the AWS IoT core and the prerequisite is that you should have a AWS account with the root privileges and if you don't have that you can very well go ahead and create it it's free of cost you will have to enter your credit card or payment details but that is for just for verification purpose now first thing that we are going to do is to create a thing on AWS this thing can be anything it can be a industrial machine it can be a temperature sensor or anything that is a physical device and that has to be tracked or monitored the next task would be to create a certificate and attach a certificate to this thing right and after creating the certificate we will be creating a policy and we will be attaching that policy to this thing so if we don't create this certificate and the policies our device will not be getting connected so that is the prerequisite the three things create a thing create a certificate and create a policy right so let's directly go to our aws account now so we are on our aws account now on in the search bar we will be typing iot and we will get so many options out of that we have to select this iot core so after opening this screen will look something like this the right side you will be seeing so many things that you can control okay so first of all the first thing that we discussed was we have to create a thing so how to create a thing we have to go to this manage tab and we have to create click on this things so here you can just click on create a thing and we will name this thing and we have to select whether we want to create a single thing or create many things so for now we want to create a single thing okay so this single thing i will name it something we can name it anything maybe i will name it uh, weather monitor and we have the option to go with the device shadow or without the shadow so we'll be going with no shadow for now click on next then you will be getting the option to generate a certificate you can go ahead and very well create this certificate but I will not go with this option so I will skip this certificate creation for now and we will just go and create thing so now our thing is created right and this is the name of the thing if you click on the thing you can see so many different uh, attributes certificates and all those details to the thing that are there that go and check it here now the second thing that we discussed is after creating a thing we will go and create a certificate so for creating a certificate you have to come down here to secure tab and there you have to press certificate now you can create your certificate and if you are getting something like this you have to click on one click certificate creation and create certificate on this tab and now you can download the certificate so i will download all the certificates this is very important because you will not be able to connect with this thing if you are not having these certificates so i've downloaded it after downloading i will activate it and i will just press the done button i can attach the policy but i don't have the policy yet so i will just press the done button now uh, this is the certificate that is created now the third thing that we discussed was the policies right so we will create we will go and create a policy for this so click on create policy and name this policy i will name this weather policy so on this weather policy we can add some actions that has to be performed on this device so what are the actions that can be performed that we can allow it here and i can allow a publish subscribe connect receive but i will allow iot star so that i can perform any actions maybe publish subscribe connect and many different options that we can do with this device now uh, the resource ARN is nothing but your topic 
so this is auto generated topic and here you should give your topic name whatever the topic name that you want to keep that you can give it so i will name it topic one right and i will allow okay so now click on create okay so your weather policy is created that you can see here if you click on the policy there are no policies attached to this certificate if you click on the thing there are no things attached to this right so this is standalone certificate there is nothing connected to this let's go and connect our policies with this certificate so you go to action and attach a policy and now your policy will be listed here whatever you have created just attach it and you can also go ahead and attach a thing to this certificate go ahead you will be getting the list of thing and click on attach so with this certificate now we have the policies we have the thing right so this is the thing that we have created now uh, if you want to test it there are some ways to test it we can test it using the aws console itself go to the test tab here and there if you want to test this particular topic you have to subscribe to this that topic right so we have created the topic as topic one right so topic one i have created and i will just go ahead and subscribe to this topic so before publishing you need to be subscribed to a particular topic now if you want to publish to this topic you want to give this so we are sending this payload as a string and we click on publish and we will get whatever the things that are getting published that will be coming in here if you are getting this that means that your Thing creation is successful and you are able to successfully publish to your topic right but our goal is not this our goal is to publish it from a java program so for that we will have to create a good project and then we will be sending this payload via our application right so let's move to the next